The match size and justify sops both are designed to help you take an object and set it to the bounding box of another object or place it along an area of the grid of your scene. So as an example here, we have a match size node, a justify sop. These guys are the same exact thing. Even though they're called two different things in the node menu, they are both in fact match size nodes. Now, to demonstrate this, I have a cache register that's very, very large. We're almost 600 meters in width right here. So this is a giant cache register that I found from Sketchfab. And I wanna set this to a more reasonable scale in my scene. So the first thing I'll do is I'll connect the first wire to the match size and I'll create a box. This box is going to be the bounding box that it listens to when trying to orient the cache register. So on the match size node, if I go down here and say second inputs, and then I say scale to fits, you'll notice that now we've shrunk this down to the size of the original box. What's also really cool is that we can place this register on top of the scene grid by saying that our justify Y needs to be center to maximum. As soon as we do that, if we try to scale up our box, that will automatically scale up the cache register as well, and everything will be perfectly lying on top of the scene grid. There's also a really cool setting that allows you to scale the model based off of either the best fit axis, which finds the largest axis of the model, or you can specify X, Y, or Z. So as I change this, it's going to listen to the maximum size in X, Y, or Z and scale it according to that particular axis. So here's X, Y is the best fit, it's the longest axis going up and down, or you could select the axis in Z. We can also do it by parameter. We can try doing this by area, by volume. There's a few other options in there, but most of the time with the scale axis, you'll want to set that to best fit. If you'd like to watch more quick tips, as well as a breakdown of what every single parameter does on this node, then check out the node Bible at cgforge.com. Thanks for watching.